Fly me to the moon Let me play among the stars Hello everybody, welcome to Hot Off the Stove. On the first installment of a new series I'm calling The Meal Series. Basically, each episode is going to contain one protein, one veg, and then one carb. The point of The Meal Series is to help people make proper meals with all three of your basic macronutrients in the right proportions for a healthy and balanced diet. So, with having said that, we're going to get started with our carbohydrate. In this case, we're going to do a sweet potato. So we're going to start off by peeling the sweet potato. Whilst that gets peeled, I'll tell you what today's episode is about. We're going to pan fry a chicken breast, and we're going to oven roast the sweet potato with some other vegetables. Now, my sweet potato was actually like too old, so I had to get a new one. But same deal. Just peel the potato, and when you're done peeling it, place it in a bowl of water. Same thing with the regular potato. Just peel it and then put it in the bowl of water so it doesn't oxidize. Then you're going to peel your carrots. Okay guys, we're just going to go underwater real quick because I need to explain something. So for some reason, I didn't record me uh, chopping the potatoes and carrots. So I'm just going to explain what I do real quick. I basically cubed the potatoes and then I snapped the carrots in half. And I also cut them down lengthwise so they could cook faster. I also uh, quartered a onion and I got some garlic and I crushed it in a garlic crusher. If you don't have a garlic crusher, you can just like smash it and then throw it in the bowl. Anyways, you'll see when I show you now. So guys, we're going to crush the garlic like I said before. The onion is quartered, the potato is cubed, and then we're going to put two shots of olive oil. <laughs> So you guys, just like two shots of olive oil. I didn't really measure it. I just do it by how it looks. Then we're going to put salt, pepper, rosemary, and some oregano and toss to combine. And uh, just taste it. See how the seasoning is. It needs a bit more salt. Then we're going to line our baking sheet with tin foil, put down some oil, and then put down the vegetables and bake for 450, around 40 minutes, tossing halfway. Next, the chicken breast. I'm going to cut off the tender, which makes like chicken tenders. Then you're going to cut halfway through the chicken breast and open it like a book. So you're going to cut it open. This is called butterflying the chicken, even though it looks like a heart. So, I don't know. so you're just going to do that with all your chicken breasts and just open it like a book. How I'm doing. You cut down the middle to keep opening it. Then we're going to put some canola oil, salt, and pepper on the chicken. Can't taste it because like you'll die. So you just need to do it by eye and experience. And I didn't measure it because I was too lazy for you guys, sorry. Next, we're gonna oil our pan and preheat it, then place the chicken inside the pan. You wanna sear the sides of the chicken until they're nice and golden brown. Once both sides are that color, the chicken will be done. And the reason why I wanted to butterfly the chicken is so it cooks more evenly and it cooks faster. So once the chicken's done, you're just gonna take it off the heat and here we go, we have our roasted vegetables and our pan-fried chicken. We're going to plate up. So, as you can see, our protein is the chicken, our carbohydrates are the potatoes, and our vegetables are the carrots. This is a perfect, balanced meal that was really good. Anyways, guys, I highly rate this meal. If you ever have, like, people coming over or you just want something to make dinner for by yourself, like me, because... You never have people coming over. Then yeah, this is a great single person meal, all right? Or two person, but yeah. Anyways, guys, see you next week.